The award-winning Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. I'm John DeSando. This is Cinema Classics. It sure is. A couple of movies out that, that strike me. There's a topic for us. Okay. One is The Mountain Between Us. All right. Uh, Idris Elba and um, Kate, Kate Winslet. Winslet. Yeah. And Only the Brave about firefighters out west and a real incident mm -hmm. um, with Josh Brolin okay. uh, doing his Tommy Lee Jones imitation. I'll see right off right off the bat, I wouldn't <laughs> consider that a survival film. Oh, it is. It is. It's a firefighting film. It is, but you see, the, uh, they've uh, got equipment. 19 guys go down, only one survives. Well, this is based on a true story. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I thought I might ask you about survival films what comes to mind now there are tons of these yeah so i um, mean so anything and is I, arbitrary i know we're gonna get in some weird <laughs> muddled no. No. middle ground no. where you're calling like you'll say like mr smith goes to washington as a survival film because he has to survive right. no no congress no no but uh, a couple of chestnuts <clears throat> yeah poseidon adventure Titanic. Okay, see, that's a disaster movie. But okay. <laughs> but you're conflating disaster and survival. Here's a survival movie. Castaway. All right. Yeah. yeah he's yeah, on yeah. an island. Yeah. That's he's got a good nothing. One. That's a good one. He's got nothing but his wits mm -hmm. and the natural resources on this island, and of course the little boxes from FedEx that wash up on shore. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about one of my favorites yeah. that I think you like? Okay. The Descent. Oh yeah. I mean, these ladies, film. these ladies go down. Now, see, they're surviving a... cave monsters, not <laughs> actual things. <laughs> spelunking. If I could get out of it, man, that would be survival. For the, for the fact that you said the word spelunking, <laughs> the show is now worth the time we put into it. One of my favorite survival films. Um, your um, your mind is going to explode with this one. Early '60s, Cornell Wilde, a little B movie called The Naked Prey. Yeah, I remember. You remember that? I do, I do, I do. He's I remember like, the poster. He's a, a British colonial in uh, Africa, and this tribe, like, murders his guys, and then they strip him down naked, and they tell him he's got a head start. They give him, like, a 30-second head start, and then the chase is on. <laughs> and Cornell Wilde is naked through the whole movie, <clears throat> trying to survive this particular challenge. That is a fun movie. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, treat yourself. It's well, <clears throat> I have a son-in-law who's going in, in Moab to, to ride bicycles with his buddies okay. for his birthday. You remember. Yeah, 127 hours. Boy, you remember. Say. He's now, riding tell me bicycle. that's not survival. Now that is survival. <laughs> now you're on the right track. He's it's riding a bike. He James falls Franco, into a right? ditch. <laughs> then he's hanging there, and he has to cut his own arm off. Oh, it's excellent. Yeah, well, it's a real story. What he cuts? What's, what's he cuts leg, his arm I, thought, off? I thought it was a leg, but I don't know. No, no, it's his arm. Remember his? Oh, that's there. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that. There's that yeah. little <clears throat> that nerve yeah. exposed, and he cuts through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> here's one yeah. <clears throat> that I think is similar to the mountain between us now, in the sense that there's a plane crash mm -hmm. in. Um, very snowy, cold climates, and this is called The Gray. Oh, yeah, with Liam Neeson. Got it. Surviving some CGI wolves. Oh, the great wolves, Those wolves man. man. They're huge. Yeah. They're <laughs> crazy CGI wolves. Yes. You know, whatever happened to the good old days when you'd train a pack of wolves to, you know, act? <laughs> um, here's one for you. Yeah. How about, uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. oh, some editing you'll have to do. Wait, I just lost it. What about my favorite, The Edge? Anthony Hopkins, yes. Alec Baldwin, written by David Mamet. Good stuff. They crash in the Alaskan <clears throat> wilderness and they are hunted down by an angry bear. <clears throat> Wonderful choice. God, hadn't so good. Hadn't even thought about it. Yeah, hadn't even thought about it. Do, do you consider War of the Worlds survival? No, again, that's a <laughs> that's a science. Fiction it can be film. the same. It's I the... know it's, but it's not. It's sur I mean, anything by that standard is a survival film. Surviving <laughs> Blade Runner. Yeah, well, he's got to survive the robots. 
<laughs> or the robots have to survive. We are whatever. Somebody's surviving. Most movies, by this definition, are survival films. <laughs> Okay, what about All is Lost? I like it. I was just going to say, Redford. Okay, that is a survival film. Yeah, that for sure He's is. out on a boat. The boat gets a big right. hole in it. What do I do? How do I survive? Right? Yeah. Well, and it's a survival for his career. <laughs> Redford. <laughs> well, it really is sort of an amazing kind of uh, late career achievement. Yeah. Where he has almost zero dialogue. <laughs> He does. I mean, maybe one line. I think he utters the F word once or twice. And yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, exposing his great range as an actor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's a great movie star. Come on. Now, the one, a, a classic that I consider survival, Lord of the Flies. Okay. All right. Yeah. Not that's, bad. They're, they're on an island. Yeah. I got okay. you. Yeah. Uh, uh, more recently, mm -hmm. The Revenant. Yeah, I was going to mention that and one. And another bear business. Yeah, but just briefly. I know. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, for sure, that one is, you know, out in the wilderness, left alone, for dead. How do you how do you get back? Yep. How do you make it back to yep. civilization? That's also, by the way, a remake of a Richard Harris movie called The Man in the Wilderness. <laughs> Thank you. And didn't uh, Leo get an award or a nomination for that? He, he did, got, yeah. I think Best Acting and Against a CGI Bear. <laughs> I still like that sequence. Um, <clears throat> a more complicated, but certainly survival. Okay. 28 Days Later. Again, that's a zombie movie. but okay. It's a zombie, and you have a virus. Right. It's, and it's, it's surviving, and I got you. not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, uh, here's one I wanted you to, to remember All recently right. that I think you've, you are amused how much I love this movie. All right. Uh, it's... Is a 47 meters down? Oh, yeah. Now, see, I would say that's kind of... That is a survival film. That counts. Yeah, yeah. Because they're stranded at the bottom of the ocean. There's limited resources. And they have to get out of there. Yeah. They have to survive. Now, yeah. what's different about that movie, the little twist, is that they're sort of reliant upon people at the surface. Correct. You know, but, yeah. uh, but good one. Yeah. And that has one of your favorites, sharks. Sharks, of course. CGI. CGI. And you're going to complain right. about that. I would like to see those CGI sharks go up against the CGI wolves in the gray. <laughs> see who comes out on top. All right, we're winding down here. Yeah. Although I have many more. Hold on. I got... I'm trying to find <laughs> no. some more. Hi. Here's a soft one. Okay. Hit me. Room. Oh. Accepted. <laughs> I will accept that. <laughs> Remember, she and her son. Yeah, for are, sure. Are uh, prisoners up in uh, that some room. wacko, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> and I think uh, we have an Oscar there somewhere. Now we haven't gone far enough back. I know, I know. Uh, but if you're looking back, how about Lifeboat? Hitchcock's Holy Lifeboat. Holy gosh! Great choice. Yeah. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. Claustrophobia. In the wide open sea. <laughs> yes, and as, as only Hitchcock can do it. <laughs> oh my! Well, uh, I I don't know. That I'm feeling lost myself now. <laughs> now I'm really... You know what? You know what? A classic trope, John, in these uh, survival movies is often when there are just a couple of people left, they turn to cannibals. <laughs> So right. we should probably end this before I Let's start looking it. at you and you look Ugh. like a turkey on a spit. <laughs> <laughs>